right, beginning. Okay, here is the raw image. It is very good by itself, but with Photoshop, you can really take things to the next level. Uh, there's things with pictures, you could capture the wrong angle and make something look off. So I'm going to teach you a little bit of tips and tricks that I use to take a picture to the next level. Of course, every picture will be a little bit different, but this is going to be the basic things. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new background layer, just so in case anything goes wrong, I will always have this base image. And the first thing after that is I'm going to go into filter and liquify. And that's going to bring up the photo. And what I'm going to do with this is if you can notice right here, uh, the armband I was wearing is making my arm look rather weird and very unsymmetrical. So I want to create symmetry. So I'm going to go in and move the size a little bit lower. And I'm just going to push my arm in to create symmetry and not do anything too crazy. I do want to keep, you know, the integrity of the natural picture itself. And I just want to fix what this little mistake has made. So you're going to mess around with it a little bit. All right, now I'm just trying to mess with this a little, little bit. I don't want to change my face that much, but with this weird face, it's making my nose look crooked. So I'm taking a smaller size and lightly, just doing little, little tiny alterations. And then we're gonna do it. I also made my eyes look more angry, just to accentuate the emotion in the picture. So you can see a little bit I mean, personal preference, maybe you like it better before, but this is an option in case you have something that looks off. Next thing I'm going to do is go into Clone Stamp. And this is what I like to use to fix skin. Uh, there's many different ways of doing this. I just find this to be the fastest way. What you're gonna do is hold down the Option Alt button, and you're gonna click a part of the skin, or part of whatever you want, and you're going, it's a clone what you have. So you just tap it on and you can make the opacity more. That way you can see more of the skin you layer on top. And there are water drops that I don't want to mess up, but I do have red marks that I feel like take away from the picture. So I want to make that better. And right here the skin is looking a little bit off, so I'm just going to go and drag. Be careful when you do this because it can get that weird look that it's starting to get. And just going to match it on the other arm. If you're going to do the face, I would zoom in a lot. <laughs> it's not always the best look, but you may need to fix some things. So I go really small here. Maybe spread it out instead of using um, a more flat. This kind of is more sparse and faded. And maybe a little bit bigger. Let's go. And let's just clean up underneath my eyes a little bit. Nothing too crazy. I kind of like the grungy, messy, natural look. Even though I'm, you know, doing this just enhances what the picture already is. All right, at this point, you can probably see that my tongue is a total off color. Who knows what I was eating or drinking, but we can totally fix that. All right, now we have what we have clone stamped, and you can click this little eye to go back to the original layer and see what you've changed. All right, so are we liking it? I, I feel like this makes the picture more clear and my face has more emotion than it did before. Next is color correction, and this can completely vary to what kind of aesthetic you're trying to give the picture. I really love to go into selective color. Not a lot of people really do this, at least tutorials I've watched, and I like to go color by color, especially because my hair is colorful, and really mess with the colors, and I want this one to be dark. And I tend to take the yellows a little bit blue, so let's do the magentas. 
It's really just a game of messing around with everything. All right, let's go with the neutrals. Let's go a little bit lighter. Maybe a little bit more, not too yellow toned. How are the magentas looking? Magentas look good there. There, we're giving some life into me. You can probably see the most difference with my hair. This is why my hair can look slightly different. Um, you can totally darken it, lighten it. I feel like with the water drops, it looks really cool when I lighten it. And I'm going to, ooh, blue hair. Uh, I could make it more yellow, which is what I, I've been doing mostly. So do we like it here? Let's try out some of the yellow. And yellow and reds are gonna mostly affect the skin color. So let's see what we like. Let's do some of this. All right, so now we can see a little bit of our color correction. It looks a little bit off, but that's because I then like to go in and mess with levels, curves, and exposure. And this is really just uh, I kind of go with the feeling it gives me when I start to darken it up, I start to lighten it up. Like what is the picture telling me to do? So I'm taking it darker, and then let's go into exposure, and let's pick mid-tones. So you can pick dark, mid-tone, light. Let's do the exposure. And let's do some of this. Now we gotta fix the blacks. Ooh, no, that's not what we're going for today. Simple little filters you can do, kind of like Instagram filters. Uh, you can go to a solid color, and I like to take it to like a deep, dark blue, navy, and I've been messing around with either exclusion, and you can change the opacity, so how much you want of this, or I go in with difference for this color, and obviously it makes it a little crazy, but then you go back and color correct it with selective color again until you get something that you like. So if I do this, I'm definitely gonna have to do something about my skin color and my hair. The reds and yellows and greens look off, but I actually, whoa! I do kind of like it, but now let's go with the curves. The blacks are looking weird to me. Let's look at it a little bit bigger. Little bit better. Let's go back into selective color. I tend to go back and forth between everything until I get something that feels right. Something just feels off, the proportions, I don't, I don't know. When I have this issue, I like to go back and look at the original, so I'm going to pop up the original really quick. Alright, so when I start to lose track of where I want this picture to go, I look for, from where it had came from. So here we got the original, and here we got the new edit. What are we thinking? I feel like the blacks need to be more black and something's off with my skin. So I'm going to continue to mess with that, but it definitely, this gives you more of a, a bam image. I think we just gotta make the blacks blacker. All right, the blacks blacker did help, but something's off with my skin tone, and it is bugging me. Is it the reds or the yellows? Let's mess with the yellows. Should we go brighter on the skin tone? I think darker. Yeah, let's go like that. All right, now I'm starting to feel an emotion. So you can see by liquefying the little the little things, nothing too crazy, um, and kind of taking out some of the small blemishes really makes everything pop. Changing the skin color and the hair color 
the background. Um, I don't know. I just, I just feel more emotion when I see this. And that's what I really want to portray in a picture. I feel like that's what anyone should try to portray in a picture, especially when it's gonna be something as small that's on Instagram or a YouTube thumbnail. I, you know, it's not always about pretty, it's about a feeling. And I think those tips will help you really be able to take your pictures to the next level. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, I'd probably still mess with it even more. I can go on for hours because I just, I love this. Um, like I'm probably going to take that light out. feel like it takes away, maybe darken this. Oops, I forgot you can't see my fingers. <laughs> if you want other tutorials or information on this or just modeling or photography in general, please let me know because I am huge into it and I've never really talked to you guys about it. So, yeah. There we go. Picture, picture.